Beep the beeps. What is shaking and what is going on? We took a look at door kickers and we had some fun with that. Uh, now I want to take a look at a different game called Arms Dealer. Just picked this up yesterday on Steam, and I took a look at three videos from the producer of the game. Well, we are going to give our opinion, and opinions are like assholes. Everybody has one. Um, yes, some suggestions, some ideas. What I'm thinking as I'm playing the game. So yeah, just gonna turn the volume down. So you'd start game, we'll do easy and love that graphic. This is a novel. Yeah. I get it, I've read it, it's a compelling story, but when I first log into a game, I do not want to spend twenty five minutes reading the paragraphs. I want little light up boxes that say, Welcome to Arms Dealer and Holy Jesus. Thank you. Wow. Excellent music quality. Oh, alright. We screwed it up already. Um. Yeah, he tells you what to do. Um, yeah, just say, hey, you know, welcome to Arm Smuggler. To travel, click the travel planner. And then there's like this little yellow box that says, you know, click here for da -ba -da, and then like da -ba -da, and you know, I don't know, make it uh, more user friendly. Because at the moment, it's kind of, I like the game. It's a business strategy game, I think, a business simulation. Basically, you buy guns in one place, you sell them somewhere else, but there are other things going on in the world. If you click the conflict button, there is a there are wars that go on here and there and the blue bubbles are arms suppliers and all these little yellow guys are arms buyers so there is a plethora of information one you cannot pause the game just cannot pause the game unless you go into options it pauses the game but otherwise you cannot pause it just continues to run which is kinda cool I like that feature uh, the zoom level Magnification lens. I like the idea in theory. Kind of gives you a a feeling. I understand the feeling you were going for. This clicking, dragging, uh, essentially irrelevant. It's eye candy. It's nothing more. When you could put stuff like, um, I don't know, your current inventory and where it is. Like, let's say you know we've got 400 AK-47s in Belarus. You know. And I say Belarus because he said Belarus in one of his videos, and that's okay. But anyway, uh, maybe an inventory of where all your arms are. So it's not like, oh shit, where was that? Hmm, maybe it, he does have it. Warehouses? He might have that. A lot of the stuff you're looking for is in a menu that you have to pop up. Now, he has done an update. Wealth, withdraw, fee, deposit, I don't know anything about this. Now, I have only played this legitimately for like, I don't know, half an hour. Because I get to a point and then I just get aggravated. So, to travel, I would like to, I'm right-clicking, I'm left-clicking. Okay, so left-click on travel, and I would like to quick travel there. So I left-click on that, and I get there, and more text. Thanks. I, yeah, yeah. He has fixed this part. Basically, it's telling you to go to four countries, um, and he has fixed it so that it shows on the map where the four countries are. Uh, at the moment, you you would have to memorize where they were and then plot your course accordingly. So, you can't buy guns here, so let's go back. Let's take our private transport, which is a family yacht. Now, I should be able to just say, hey, I've already said that I want to travel privately to Russia. So, from here... I don't have any cargo... No, I don't want to go to Australia. Alright. Russia. Travel. Private transport. Travel to Australia. Seriously? Uh, okay. Apparently I hit a button somewhere. I think he's fixed this too, but... It's not very... Uh, it's quirky is what it is. I mean, he may not agree. And anybody who plays this game, feel free. Tell me in the comments below that I'm a dumb idiot and I don't know what I'm doing. And the guys who made it, the developer, all this, I'm doing this for you. This is my first real, like, sit down, look at it, try to play it type thing. These are the thoughts I'm having, and 
how I'm feeling. I mean, you can easily say, you know what, we made the game the way it is, you're just frickin' retarded, too bad. And that's totally cool. I have no ill will towards people. I am actually pro people doing that. Be like, you're retarded, learn how to play the game, don't be stupid. But, uh, yeah, instead of, like, dumbing it down, be like, here is the box that you need to click, and if you have special needs, you can play this game, too, because we're special needs friendly. And, I know, I just pissed off everybody that has a special needs friend. Anywho. Not picking on them. There is one thing with the travel, though. Um, I was running guns... Uh, he's gonna go all the way over there, for the love of Christ. Here we go, travel plan. I can do nothing for 17 seconds, and that's not a big deal. It is, though. It is. Like, if I tell... If he's right here... Let's zoom in a minute. <laughs> oh, it does do stuff. Look at that. It tells you your zoom level. That's cute. Irrelevant, but cute, because I know I'm, like, zooming in. But anyway. I was in this city right here. Right here. This little city. He had to fly all the way over there to end up, like, here-ish. I don't know. But if I go to fly from Russia to the Ukraine. I will fly out of Russia right here. There's like a weird pathing system. Here, I'll show you. Alright, uh, travel to the Ukraine, quick travel. See, he comes from right here in Russia. Very quick, very simple, no big deal. Now, if we tell him to go back to Russia, hang on, he's gonna go to like west, oh, now you're not gonna do it. You're gonna make me a liar, aren't you? You son of a biscuit. Yeah, it's gonna make me a liar. No! It's doing this weird convoluted way into Russia, which is like, that's what it was doing. It goes like here, and then it hits the Czech Republic, and then it goes all the way to the ass crack of Russia. Pathing on the way back, kinda wonky. Because it knows how to do this. Like, if it didn't know how to do that, I'd be like, alright, whatever, it just takes a long time to go to Russia, apparently. But, take a look at the pathing, maybe? Um, or just be like, dude, you're retarded, it's supposed to take that long. Okay. Um, yeah, that's about it. So, so far we have sold nothing. So let's go into buy, sell. I like that. Buy, sell. Tells you what it needs to do. Buy, sell. Now, clearly there's no average because I haven't been buying and selling. So, I don't know. He has... I don't know if any of these are a good price. They should be. I don't know. Let's get some of these. So, he has fixed this too. There is, he did implement a buy all that you can button, which is kind of cool. So, for now, we're just going to hit 999. So, we're going to get 120 tons of the RGM-40s. And it gives you a nice little description, which is cool, and buy. And then when you close this, you don't kind of know. Okay, so this is the average paid, but it doesn't tell me where it is. So let's say I load this game later and I totally forgot where I bought it. Granted, there isn't that many supplier countries, but it would be kind of nice to know where they're sitting. Because at the moment, I can only move like 12 at a time. So let's say I wanted to sell them or start stockpiling them in Libya. So I would travel with my private transport. I think I'm doing this right. Feel free, tell me if I'm doing any of this wrong. Then I have to make a travel plan to go to said country. I don't know, where is I going? Libya? Where is Libya? Libya? It's over there. Uh, is that Libya? No, that's Saudi Arabia. That's Egypt. That's Libya. Okay. I, I suck at geography. That's not the point, people. Alright, we're going to Libya. So in Russia, I want to pick up all that I can, which is 12. Which is cool, I'm totally cool with that. Now, Syria, purchase intel. Egypt, purchase intel. Libya, purchase intel. So, looking at this, Libya would buy them the most, or sell them for the highest profit. Awesome. I would also like to travel to Libya to go with my shipment. So, let's review that and confirm. Now, it's going to do this, and it's going to take us about... 10 seconds to get there. Cool. So we can close this and it is going to do what it is going to do. Hang on. I need my coffee. This is serious business. Blah blah wall of text. He did fix the thing where you can turn all that stuff off too. Thank you. It did not auto sell. Which is okay. But now let's go to inventory. 
Oh, it does say it's in Russia. Wow, I take that back. All right. See? First impressions. I take back the where is it. Transports, nothing transporting. And I have 12 on me. Cool. So I should be able to go to buy, sell. I have 12 in the inventory. They only want 3. So we're just going to put 999. I'm going to sell them for a million. Everything updates. Cool beans. Now, we have to do that a bunch of times. There is a different way to do it. Oh, God. Blah, 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 blah. He did fix that. He did. All right. So, travel planner. We're going to Russia. See, and from there, it goes to, like, the shortest connect to Russia. Are you serious? Pathing? Anyway. Um, I don't know what buy intelligence means. So, smug auctions. We unlocked the finder's fee? Go us. Um, back to game. Requests? Nothing. Transactions? Oh, that's nice. The date, how many we bought. So at this rate, it's going to take us probably half an hour to sell all this. But he, there's another way to do it. It's public travel, and these things are already doing... Like, this boat from Kaleem to Guyana. Leaving in 12 days. It's already running drugs anyway. Uh, there's 10 tons available, so we can say, you know what... You're going to here, here, here. Purchase all of the intels, which is fine. I get that. You don't know until you buy it. Three, one, and two. Kind of shit, but we won't have to worry about it, supposedly. Ten tons. So we're going to send 25 of them on this. And we're going to sell them in Brazil. So we're going to review that, and we're going to confirm it. Now, the problem is, is I did this once before with weapons from the United States, and it just disappeared. I don't know. I don't know what happened to my goods. I don't know what happened to the guns. Maybe they got intercepted. If they are intercepted, a pop-up would be cool. But, yeah, say, hey, you know, the ISS freaking ISIS freaking took all your shit. I don't know. So let's do another one of those. We'll do Portugal. Let's take a look at that. There's 42 tons available there. Luxembourg. Let's send a 25 out there too. Confirm that. And a Haiti. Let's take a look. <laughs> I love making videos when I'm sick. Oh, Romania. Excellent. So, we're going to send all we can to Romania, because they have the best price. And, okay. Now, supposedly, in my opinion, I have just told them to take my goods and sell them. Not drop them off in the country, just to take them and sell them. So, we'll know in about eight days or three minutes. I like the uh, three-minute bracket. So, then we are free to do our own thing. So, let's go do that. Travel planner, private travel, select cargo, blah, blah, blah. Back up. Russia. No, I don't want to travel to Russia. I'm already in Russia. I would like to travel to Libya. I'd like to review that. I don't know why it tells me to buy intel here. Confirm it. Now we should go with the shipment. We're, and now we're taking off from over there. I have no idea what that is about. <coughs> Maybe that net worth 16 million is what's about to go out in here. Hmm. Oh, I wonder if I can check my inventory. And I still have 200 grenade launchers in Russia. 20 days to purchase the weapons. I think that's in the U.S. No, it says inventory empty. What? I was supposed to pick up 12 grenade launchers in Russia and bring them over here. 
Better not be empty. No, it's not empty. Alright. So we sold those. We made a little bit more money. And now our net worth went down again. I don't know why it went up and down. It was up like 12 million a minute ago. Hmm. Uh, I'm pretty sure... Damn! Have some flights. Oh, these are war transports. Somebody is supporting a war. Is there a way to show, like, active wars in a list? I like the text. Like, here's the thing. I like text. I like being able to read about stuff. But... I don't know. A little thing on the side that says, you know, these two are at war, and I don't know, somebody is supporting somebody other than having to, like, read all of this. I get it, because I like the text. I like being able to, like, get all the information, but sometimes you just want to look really quick and just be like, north-south? Does this even do anything? Or is this just pretty? Like, I get it. All this stuff is flavor, and it looks good, and it looks cool, but... If it's not actively useful, like, I don't know, list active wars here instead. Hmm, I don't know. Just thoughts that I'm having. Let's go over to the United States anyway. I'm pretty sure we can pick up really cheap guns. Somebody said in the comments, too, I have watched all three of the videos that he's put up. Um to maybe impl implement something like if we, let's say, we started delivering a shit ton of grenade launchers to Nicaragua, like that would make them more apt to invade Nicaragua, because they really click on things on the map twice, Honduras. I don't know, make them more aggressive, start your own wars, and then the guys that are trying to stop you from smuggling drugs have to intervene in the war, or else, you know... Or if you, uh, blah, 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 I don't know. If you, uh, support a war and the war wins, like, maybe they give you a kickback or just something like that. Buy, sell, buy, sell. Should be assault rifle and the APS for 25,000. All of them will be nice. It's basically what the quest told you to do. Go to a couple of places and you can buy these. Alright, so now let's do more transport stuff. Public travel. So are my guns, like, going somewhere? Like, I have no idea what is going on with my guns right now that I told to have shipped. Bought them, sold our two, and we lost money? Is what I'm seeing? I don't know, maybe it's in progress to be sold? I just, I have no information on what happened with those guns. Brazil and Lock no, they're just sitting there. Damn. Okay, so now, do I have to go to Brazil and manually sell them? Oh, that would be a pain in the ass. I think I do. Alright. So to me right now, it's like I have to go to Brazil. Now, I could be wrong. Please feel free to d tell me where I'm wrong. Because maybe, you know, other people have these thoughts too. I feel like I have to go all the way to Brazil to sell the 25 guns that I put on the truck. There should be, like, a sell at destination. Because otherwise, I would just move it myself. But no, I see what you're saying. You can move 25 tons, 40 tons, blah, blah, blah. Whatever tonnage, you know, is going that way. So you can move more than if you did the private transport. But still, this is kind of obnoxious. Uh, maybe a sorting feature for what the hell is in the country. Like, I know I have these in the country. I know that. But if I'm, like, funneling a metric ton of stuff down here, 
let's say there was a conflict going on, and I'm just like loading it up with stingers, tanks, assault rifles, explosives, handguns, and you know, you're scrolling through the list, you're like, oh, did, did I send the, these down there, did I send Mossbergs, or was I using the APS? A little like dot or something? It's just a little something to let them know that, uh, this is what's there. I mean, it's not a huge deal, like, none of this stuff is huge. Sell for two million. Um, inventory. I've got 110 of those. Luxembourg. I don't know exactly where Luxembourg is. Search feature. Best thing ever. Geography is bad. Luxembourg is there. So I can travel. Quick travel. Yeah, definitely a sell option. Like, because this is ridiculous. I was over here doing stuff. And now I have to cart around and do stuff. Maybe there is. I don't know. So, these are some of my impressions. I'll do some more. I'm going to wait. I'm not doing any more videos for this. Um, I want to get some feedback from the developer, from the producer, from you guys. Give me your opinion on this game. I like the idea. I like the premise. I like a lot of this flavor shit. But, it just seems like it's a little confusing in the beginning, which may turn people off, because I like this game. I wouldn't make this video if I was like, oh, you know, this game is dog shit. I'm... I have no patience or time to do dog shit videos. Like, I do. I like the game. I like this stuff. Like, it's it's a fun game, but I'm just confused on certain things. And hey, I could be stupid. Tell me in the comments that I'm dumb. I don't care, but... If you guys feel the same, if you guys play this, or if you're watching it and be like, yo, yeah, I had a similar thought as well about that, or I had, you know, what about this option? Give these guys some feedback. They seem like a good bunch of people. I haven't talked to them. I don't know them. This is no promotion, clearly, because I'm really going what the fuck through the whole video. But the producer guy has put up three different videos, and he's really trying to get engagement from the community. Community, There are Steam forums. I've never been on the Steam forums in my life, you know. So, I don't know. It's just not a medium I go to. So, there may be a ton of information there, and it's all right there, and I'm just like an idiot. But, I don't know. Hit me back with feedback. Developer, producer guy. Um, all you guys watching this, take a look. Tell me what your thoughts are. Anything you would tweak? Hmm, that's about it. Hope you all had a great weekend. I am going to take a nap because I am sick as a dog, and then I have to go back to the doctor this afternoon. But it's all good, peeps. Talk to you later.